A tube. Uh, screen's a little fuzzy here, sorry. But uh, nitro braiders right here. Nitro braiders uh, asked, "What do? You, what does he need to convert his lawnmower to propane?" This uh, video is to show him and anyone else that wants to watch this video how to convert your propane or your lawnmower to propane. Alright YouTube, it just rained everywhere. Everything soaked. I wasn't prepared and a lot of important stuff got soaked in, including this repair. Electric scooter out in the rain. Whatever. It's under a bush, so it didn't get that much rain on it. Anyways, this is how you convert your lawnmower to propane. I've made a video like this before, but I don't I think I might have deleted it, so make another one. Um so you just need a uh, all right, I'm back. You need a regulator. That's what it's called. You need a regulator. This is a small regulator. It's actually off a propane heater. Um, and then this tube goes down. If you've got a uh, engine like this, not exactly like this, a, a Tecumseh, really. Um, and you've got a carb set up like this, like that. Then all you actually do is you plumb. Yeah, sorry, a little tight. You plumb this line, the line that has the propane gas into it, into the carburetor, just like regular gasoline. And when you start this engine up, you gotta pull the the filter off, start it up. And then put the filter back on. It runs better with the filter on, but it will not. It's really hard to start up with the filter on. Um, if your primer button, or if, 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 blah, 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 blah. if your primer bulb has a hole in it, like you put your thumb on there, like it came factory like that, you're gonna want to plug that up. And plug mine up with a little bolt like that. Um, I want a propane tank. Now you can do this with a large propane tank, but that's kind of awkward to put a giant propane tank here. I've seen a lot of guys do that though. Um, it's really easy to do with um, a long tractor like this because then you just build a bracket on the back to hold the giant tank and then you just run a line up to the engine, you know. Now some engines will let you do carb straight in like this, straight into the carb, but some won't so you have to uh, drill a little hole in the back here or somehow plumb it into the carburetor, you know. Uh, the further you can get this this propane in past, see, if you put it in right here, you will get a lot of air and not so much propane, you'll be wasting a lot of propane. The further you can get it in, the better. It's because you won't get so much propane escaping, you'll get a better mix, so on and so forth. Um, this, I've, the way I've got this plumbed in, it comes out right in here. Not where I'm putting my finger, but inside the carb, inside the chamber, about in here. Which works beautifully. Um, but that's simply it. Make sure, you, make sure you change your oil after running, about an hour after you run on propane. Unless your oil's just dirty, then just change it. The uh, reason being is it'll actually clean your cylinder out. A lot of that gets into the oil. So, uh, if you don't have self-propelled, if you don't have like self-propelled like this, if it's just a squeeze handle up here, if you're self-propelled, that's fine. But if you've got one of these, you're good, you want to leave this like this so you can um, pop this up to disengage the self-propelled. But if you don't have self-propelled, just zip tie this down. It's useless with this setup because you should be shutting it off with the valve you shut it off like that you bleed all your lines and you have no problems now you see both of these tanks have been painted this one has that one has um, I refill these actually let me show you real quick because just to buy the bottle I keep buying these bottles it's kind of it's gets pretty expensive it's like, like three or four bucks a, a bottle that's a gallon each each of these bottles I think are like a, around a gallon so it's about the same as gas. Now, on my big tank here, my 20 gallon, I've got an adapter, it's called a Mac coupler. 
you can look that look those up on eBay um, and it doesn't matter if they're the ones on eBay are cheap or expensive or whatever as long as it's made of brass like this then you're just fine um, we actually do is the first thing you want to do after you've run your propane tank you know what I'll just uh, I'm not going to show you how to fill it you just want to get one of these um, down there in the pants bar um, I'll have a video um, clip or uh, URL uh, thing you click on to take you to a video I can't talk I'm sorry um, to show you how to fill that up I've made a video of that so that'll be in the pants bar like uh, the shade tart say all the time let's turn that over no never mind do it like that anyways so that's simply how you do it um, now what I usually do after I'd converted something like this I usually will pull off all the head bolts replace the head gasket and uh, uh, scrape out all the carbon out of the cylinder reason being is propane is carbon free there's no admissions there's it's absolutely wonderful for the environment doesn't hurt it at all um, so I usually scrape that all out get it really nice and clean it runs super uh, good anyways before I was r very rudely interrupted um, I've heard of the pro I've heard propane is about 101 110 uh, octane whether or not that's true I have no idea um, yes propane does br burn hotter in engines so you have to run a, a good oil um, like Valvoline um, just a good oil that will hold up to high heat uh, definitely put some like some additive that will stabilize the oil like uh, Luke, Lucas heavy duty oil stabilizer like that that would work really good so so that's pretty much it I have changed oh, I have changed this oil it's got some Valvoline in there it is full I'll have to check it again in a little bit show you now a little segment of me mowing with it now mow I'll go run across a few times not on my lawn on my neighbor's lawn over there that I do his lawn all the time um, I'll be mowing on his one side of his yard or in the back of his yard and I'll do a few swipes and then I'll speed it up twice as fast and get it done sounds funny speeding it up twice as fast like me oh and by the way when it when I'm mowing and I'm going across and it makes a sputtering noise and I shut it off the propane tank runs out and I put this one on this one sprays propane out you'll see that in the video uh, because the valve or the the seal on it's not very good anymore and then I go back to mowing again so I hope you enjoyed YouTube bye so that's how it's built so now we're going to do a little bit of mowing with it with the propane mower I've got that tank I've got an extra tank the extra tank extra tank right here now that one's getting low so that's why I brought it this is the yard I do all the time so all of this one to do I did already did all of that with my my red my MTD riding mower so I just gotta get this done now I'm gonna put you here on the steps show you
as you can see it's got plenty of power runs really smooth uh, the reason why if if I don't edit it out, when I put this other propane tank on, the reason why it had a bunch of propane spurting out of it, because the seal isn't good anymore. Down inside the chamber, and I've got to redo the seal, so. But yeah, it runs great. This is about the maximum power uh, you can go with converting um, an engine into propane with this kind of a bottle. It's about maximum, so 5.3. My other one was a 4 which I could actually flood the engine. This one I can almost flood the engine. So, this one sucks a little bit more gas than the other one did, but yeah, it runs great. All I gotta do is this line over to the fence. That's been down with my rideable. That's been done with my rideable and I'll be done. Oh, and I gotta do the front yard too. See you later, YouTube. Bye.